my lovely daughter, Bunty. And as the old saying goes, what's in the bitch comes out in the pup. <laughs> said never go all the way on a first date. Then again, I'm not my mother. <laughs> Let me entertain you and we'll have a real good time. Yes, sir. Now we'll have a real good time. <laughs> You're doing your trollop now. <laughs> you're supposed to go, let me entertain you. Let me. That's why you're not tap lessons, cost me a fortune. I'm not doing tap. Stuck there with your chest hanging out half naked. I don't know where you get it from. Look at that. <laughs> we're going to do the act as written, right? Now stand there and we're going to sing it. Dave, the old act, please. Thank you. <laughs> now, my little girl came up to me in the kitchen the other evening while I was fixing supper. And she handed me a piece of paper she'd been writing on. And after wiping my hands on my apron, I read it. And this is what it says. OK, for mowing the lawn, I want a fiver. For going to the office for you, I want two quid. For making the beds all week, I'll have another fiver. Oh, yeah, and for minding a little brother while you went out to shop, 20 quid, I'll have it now. <laughs> well, I looked at her standing there expectantly, and a thousand memories crossed my mind. So I took the pay and and turn the paper over, and this is what I wrote. It's for the times that I carried you growing inside of me, no charge <laughs> for the man. Ah! What? what? No charge? It's absolutely shocking, that. When have you ever not charged? <laughs> <laughs> Half-faced me. <laughs> what do you think? What about you doing punters? I do not do punters, thank you very much. I'm a retired social consultant. <laughs> no, I mean about the song, you know. Well, it's a bit corny, isn't it? Oh, go on, be honest. It's a load of crap. <laughs> crap! Tammy Wynette, crap! Tammy, country and western Tammy, who was dragged up in some miscreant hillbilly shack with 49 brothers and 12 sisters. Crap! Shammy who didn't know, Shammy. Tammy who didn't know. <laughs> Shammy Davis Jr. Tammy who didn't know. Tammy who didn't know what a toilet was till she was 30. She never used toilet paper, you know that woman. Honestly. She used to use an old dock leaf. Sometimes a wipe of the donkey's ear if they were lucky. <laughs> Tammy who's suffered. Tammy who's had heartache and it comes out in the lyrics, not like that rubbish you listen to. You just don't fashion that. I am not. Look, do you even know who Snoop Doggy Dog is? Yeah. Yeah, who? I've forgotten. You know. <laughs> see? See? Oh, come on, Jason. We're not making a show of ourselves. Hang on a minute, little Miss Hip Hop and Mr. Cool. There's nothing I don't know about music. Before you were even born, me and Arvira were in a band. Oh, yes. We were. We were there. <laughs> birth of punk. Birth of who? The birth <laughs> of punk. <laughs> This is the education system for you these days, you see. Punk, you know, Jane County and the electric chairs, Sid Vicious, the Sex Pistols, Polystyrene. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember her? She had a big hit with O Bondage Up Yours. Do you remember that? <laughs> o Bondage Up your... Yours. <laughs> huh? I mean, me and Arvira were in a band, you know. It was called Bloody Molly and the Ricketts. You know, Buddy Holly and the Pick, get it? <laughs> Ricketts. Oh, God. Arvira was a drummer them days. She was called Vera Scabies. <laughs> I was the lead vocalist. We had a hit song with a thing called I've Got a Cold. <laughs> Fabulous lyrics. Snot on the bed sheet, snot on the floor, snot all over the bedroom door, I've got a cold. <laughs> <laughs> they, they loved it. Uh, Come. But man, listen, that was then. This is now. But punk is dead. Never. No, no, not for some old rockers. Punk never died. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.